Hey guys, today I'll be doing an unboxing on the Echo One Scar L. Uh, the gun itself is in black, and how I got this gun was uh, I traded my old uh, GNG combat machine for this one, and I think it's actually a pretty good trade. So I'll be opening the box right now. Alright, as you can see, there's the gun, and here's in this uh, manual showing uh, how to use the gun where everything goes and uh, yeah just stats of the gun and then here's the Echo 1 warranty card 30 days 30 day trial there you go and then there's the gun itself it's in black it's... let's take a look at the packaging and here's what comes inside the box one uh, um, 400, round, 400 round M4 magazine, which is actually pretty nice. So I have a couple of these already. A vertical foregrip. An 8.4 volt battery. Should probably get 9.6. I probably will soon. And uh, the usual dumb chargers for the wall. It's best to uh, get a wall charger. Because these will ch keep charging your battery until uh, it just fries it out and destroys it. And also the cleaning rod, which is very important. Cleaning and un unjamming rod, sorry. Just, and then uh, here's the gun itself. Let's see if I can take it out with one hand. Oh. Right side. Here you go. And it's beautiful, beautiful. With its little flip up sights, the usual scarred sights. And here's the back sights, they also flip up. Not a big fan of the rear sight, but guess, uh, since they're flip up sights, you could just put them down and put your favorite optics on it. And uh, safety switch, safety, semi, and then full auto. It's uh, the safety. Is actually the fire saga switch my bad. It's actually ambidextrous, so it works on both sides of the gun. There's a mag release right there. The charging handle, which opens the bolt, the fake bolt inside, and the hop up, which is in there. All I have to do is let go, and it closes. And the stock too is actually pretty nice. It retracts three positions: one, two, and three, as you can see right there. And it also has a pretty nice cheek riser right here, which also the cheek ri the stock itself is where the battery goes. So it's pretty dark, so you can see right there. And of course the stock folds. Hold on, put this in there. <clears throat> Come on. There you go. Stock folds just by pressing this button right here. It folds all the way back. Unfortunately, the stock doesn't lock, so it just kind of hangs there. See, it just goes back. It's a pretty nice feature, I guess as you could say. And uh, the top rails are numbered, so you know what rail you put your iron sights or optics in, so you won't forget. So we have 39. And then the typical scar flash hider. Yeah, I actually like this flash hider, it's pretty nice. And here's the fake bolt catch. Does not work. It's not. Can't even press it or anything, so it's kind of lame. And with the textured uh, pistol grip. Not really a huge fan of the texture, but it's something I'll get used to. And you just put the magazine in there. And boom. And then focus, there you go. That's how the gun looks. It's actually a pretty hefty gun since. Uh, the receiver is made of metal. I'm sorry, since the upper receiver is made of metal, then the lower receiver is made of a polymer, so it's pretty heavy. Then the rails are here are actually metal too, all four of them. This side right there, and the bottom row right here. So you can see that there you go. Right there. Also, it has knobs right here for uh, windage. Focus right there for this or for this is for windage, and then you could twist this for elevation so the sight goes down when you twist it. 
counterclockwise, and then when you switch it, switch it clockwise, it goes up. I'll see if I'll do a full review of the gun. I'm sorry, a, a shooting test of the gun soon because I don't have the proper equipment to do it. But uh, yeah, I actually like this gun more than uh, my old GNG. It's way nicer. It's stronger too, as it does. I think 360, the 380 FPS, just on the 8.4 battery, and it shoots about uh, uh, 18 rounds per second. I'm not sure. It's a pretty fast shooting gun, and yeah. Step back. There you go. It's a pretty hefty gun, but it's nice. As you can see right there. All its glory. So uh, yeah. Thanks guys for watching and like, favorite, and subscribe. See you guys later.